No captivity. Freezy. Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in to No Captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. Let me hear you say it. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you rock with your boy Freezy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now and also comment and share this video that is if you rock with your boy freezy boy oh boy ain't no love for your boy young thug let me tell you as y'all already know young thug was recently indicted along with his whole ysl crew for numerous federal charges and it ain't looking good this one here for the thug, for the thug. thug. Initially, Young Thug and his homeboy, Gunna, was detained on numerous charges stemming from racketeering and several gang-related activities. And we also found out that Gunna just got out because he agreed to a plea deal that might implicate Young Thug as the leader in the YSL organized crime syndicate. But Gunna ain't the only one. I just found out through recent news, everybody singing, everybody telling. No captivity, everybody. And we about to get deeper into it because ain't no love for Young Thug. No captivity. But before we do, like I said, all his homeboys, AKA his lovers. And the reason why I say lovers is because that's what he called them early on in his career. Matter of fact, let me show y'all the clip so y'all won't think Freezy lying. Oh, uh, man, you know how much I love them. I call them babes and lovers. And everybody think crazy, but you know, that's how it go. Yeah, so y'all won't think Freezy lying. <laughs> but let's head on over to the no cap room so we can take a deeper dive into this bullshit. So as we can see, Young Thug's attorney says people are taking deals to snitch on the rapper Young Thug. And he ain't just talking. That's all you do. No! You rap! You see it right there! But let's read more into this. Young Thug's attorney accused a number of his jailed associates are allegedly taking deals in order to provide testimony to prosecutors and get out of jail. As Rolling Out and other outlets reported previously, Ghana and YSL founder Walter Murphy were let out the Fulton County Jail this past week after striking deals with Fulton County Atlanta prosecutors. No captivity. Thugger has been charged with a litany of felony offenses related to alleged violence, drug dealing, and other transgressions. The upcoming RICO, Racketeer Influence, and Corrupt Organizations Act trial will begin on January 6th. That's right. right Right around the damn corner. This one here for the thug. Thug, 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 thug. Thug's attorney Brian Steele gave an extended interview with Eleven Alive in Atlanta as part of the news station's docuseries Jeffrey, Young Thug from Fame to Rico Trial. Steele claims that prosecutors are targeting Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, and are manipulating his YSL associates to take deals to bolster their case against him. A third person, Slime Life Shouty, whose real name is Wani Lee, also took a plea deal. And shout out to Double XL Magazine, which posted a tweet of Young Thug's lawyer saying, The biggest problem in his RICO case are other YSL members taking plea deals. Quote, unquote. It's coming from the word of people who are getting deals to say, Yeah, he was there. Or, I saw him around. Or, Yeah, he gave the order. Yeah, his lover's saying all of that. All of that. But let's get the hell up out of here. Young thug, what the hell you got yourself into? This one here for the thug. thug. It ain't looking good. Your homeboy telling on you. My bad, your lovers telling on you. All that wide sale, loyalty, gang gang. I ride for my dog. That shit out the damn window. <laughs> and you can't do nothing about it. Now, Young Thug just showed up in court not too long ago, and to be honest, it seemed like it was looking good for him. Because the judge that presided, a black judge might I add, was showing a little understanding towards Young Thug's case. But here it is, I wake up to Young Thug's lawyer saying, they snitching, they snitching, all of them. So Young Thug, I don't know what you gonna do. Usually I say I'm praying for my brothers and sisters, but I ain't praying for your ass. You got yourself into this, you got to get yourself 
out of it. No captivity. And if you get convicted and go to jail, maybe that's where you want to be anyway. No captivity. But that's all I got for y'all today. I'd like to make a special announcement. We're almost at 500 subscribers. 500. And it's all because of you, my no cap crew. By the time I upload another video, I'm pretty sure we'll be over 500 subscribers. If you rock with your boy Freezy and you rock with the no captivity show, leave your comments in the comment section and I will be there with you, I promise. It's a celebration. And if you have any stories or events that you want Freezy to cover, Please leave it at freezy76 at gmail.com. And if you haven't subscribed, be the 500 subscriber. Like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell to no captivity with Freezy. No captivity. And like I always say, to free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here. No captivity. Freezy, freezy, freezy.